بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی کنٹینیو دا ڈسکشن آن واٹ آن دی پاور فیکٹر کریکشن رائٹ سو ٹل ناؤ دیٹ ویو سین از دا ٹیکنیکل ایکسپیکٹ آف اٹ ہاؤ ٹو کریکٹ پاور فیکٹر اینڈ ویریس میتھڈس آف کورس اینڈ دین دا دا میتھمیٹیکل کیلکولیشنز ان والو واٹ شوڈ بی دی اماؤنٹ آف لیڈنگ کے وی آر انجیکٹیڈ ان ٹو دا سسٹم سو دیٹ اٹ کمپینسیٹ فار دا لیگنگ کے وی آر اینڈ دا اینگل ریڈیوسز اینڈ ہینس کاس آف دی اینگل انکریزز سو دا پاور فیکٹر انکریزز رائٹ یس بٹ دا تھنگ از دا تھنگ از دیٹ این آپریشن انجینئر آلویز گوز فار دا کاسٹ از ویل یو ہیو ٹو گو فار دا کاسٹ افیکٹیونیس آف دس یو آر انسٹالنگ دا کیپیسٹر یو آر انجیکٹنگ سم تھنگ ان ٹو دا سسٹم یو آر یو نو اپلائنگ سم تھنگ ان ٹو دا سسٹم ایڈنگ سم تھنگ ٹو دا سسٹم سو اٹ ہیز اے کاسٹ رائٹ یس سو ٹو ڈے وی سی دیٹ اکنامک انالیسز آف دیٹ so you also have it to look into your pocket as well you also look you also have to look for the budget right yes it's not only that you you, you just want to improve the power factor and you say this much of the capacitance is required and just put it in no you have the capacitor has a cost the capacitor has losses involved various factors so today we see some examples related to that so that we can understand the economic situation as well okay so uh, what is power factor so you, you we've already seen this so power factor is basically a multiplying factor it is simply a rating factor you multiply it with the rating of the equipment it gives you the actual capability of the device right yes for example if you multiply it with the rating of a transformer in kvas so it gives you the actual load that you can apply on the transformer at that particular amount of power factor or it is the volt this the angle between the voltage and the current for a pure sinusoidal wave if not sinusoidal then you have a distortion power factor displacement power factor and you know that things you study those in power electronics over here for now that the rating factor is a greater definition anyways example number one so we will now discuss some cost analysis over here A heavy industry has a maximum demand of 1 megawatt load. So the maximum demand is given which is 1 megawatts. It is operating at a load at a power factor of 0.8 lagging. So let's say I directly name it to cause of 5.1 because they will now say that we want to improve it, right? So cause of 5.1 is 0.8 lagging which works 5 days a week from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So they say that this is working for 5 days per week and they have also mentioned 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So which means 8 hours a day. right yes then what do it say uh, with a load factor of 60% load factor is given fld we mentioned it with is 60% if uh, and is charged according to two part tariff so it is charged according to the two part tariff which is given over here is uh, rupees 400 per maximum demand of kva and then you have plus rupees 10 per kilowatt hours rupees 10 per kilowatt hours right yes it is intended to improve the power factor to 0.9 lagging so i will write over here we have a cause of phi 2 which is a 0.9 lagging by means of static capacitors that cost rupees 100 per kvar so static capacitors cost is what rupees 100 per kvar depreciated at 10% the depreciation is also involved which is 10% annually determine the rating of the capacitors and saving on the annual cost of electricity which may result due to power factor correction so rating is unknown and then if you have any saving or loss so that also is unknown and this is given a lossless system so you just have to do what you have to neglect the losses right yes now this data is given you can find out phi 1 you can find out phi 2 phi 1 would be what phi 1 would be 
cos inverse of 0.8 which is what I have mentioned it over here is 36.8 degrees 36.8 degrees then phi 2 would be what it would be cos inverse of 0 0.9 and this is what would be something around 25 yes this is 25.8 degrees 25.8 degrees now the rating of the capacitors involved in kvrs would be what qc we have seen is p times tangent of phi 1 minus tangent of phi 2 P is the loading condition. So if no demand factor is given, no uh, demand factor is not given, so you can take the connected load as the maximum demand, take the de demand factor as one. So I will put it over here is 1000. I would just want to do it in the kilo units, right? And then I would have tangent of phi one is 36.8 minus tangent of phi two is 25.8 do the calculations please i always you know ask you to please confirm the calculations so qc comes out to be 265 kvars 265 kvars this is qc now the cost would be what the cost of these capacitors would be it is rupees 100 per kvar and kvrs are how much they are 265 so this and 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 you also have what you also have a point one depreciation involved you also have a point one depreciation involved with the capacitors so this would come out to be 2650 rupees per year for the static capacitors right yes now the the annual uh, bill is unknown right so before power factor correction and after power factor correction so let us first find out the energy units that is it, it uses so these are the maximum demand fld into time right so fld is how much it is given is 60 percent the maximum demand is given is 1000 kilowatts and time so how much time would you put it actually is so it is uh, you know working for eight hours a day right it is working for eight hours a day we basically need the yearly basis so this is working for eight hours a day in a, uh, uh, eight hours in a day right and then you have how much it is working for five days in a week so i would multiply it with five and then how many weeks do you have in a year is 52 so you multiply these three so the time for which it works is 2080 2080 hours right eight hours in a day five days in a week 52 weeks in a year so the total number of hours in a year this works so multiply this over here so the energy units that it consume basically comes out to be what this comes out to be 1248 into 10 to the power 3 1248 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatt hours these are the number of units that it actually requires for the whole year now let's go for the annual electricity bill so number one let's say is before power factor correction let's say before power factor correction so what do i have so i need the kvas basically i need this to be on the basis of kvas so s1 i would name it s1 would be p upon cos of phi 1 so p is 1000 and cos of phi 1 is 0 0.8 divide this what does it come out to be this is 1250 kvas 1250 kvas so which means the fixed part or the fixed cost is what this is 1250 multiplied with what multiplied by 400 per kva so this comes out to be uh, rupees uh, one two three four five so five lakhs of one one two three four five five lakh rupees per year then you have what the variable cost or the running charges are what they are rupees 10 per kilowatt hour so per kilowatt hours are one two four eight into ten to the power three so this comes out to be how much one two four eight zero in ten power three right one two four eight zero into 10 to the power 3 now the total cost of electricity the total cost of electricity would be the fixed cost plus the variable cost add these two what is this i will write over here is 130 130 
500. So this is the total cost of electricity that is you know before power factor correction. So I will let's say name it 1. You can also have the per unit cost divided by total number of units, right? Yes. Similarly, now if you have the improved power factor, you have now, let's say number two, I would say is after power factor correction. After power factor correction. So what do you have over here? So now the, the KVA will change, right? Because this is dependent on the power factor. P is the same 1000, but the cause of phi, the power factor has changed to 0 0.9. So which means now the KVA rating would be what? It is uh, double one, double one, double one, double one point one one KVAs, right? Yes. So now the fixed cost would be on the basis of this. So fixed cost would be double one, double one, 0.11 multiply 400 per kvs so this comes out to be a double four double four point four double triple four triple four so this comes out to be triple four triple four rupees per year the variable cost would be the same why because the number of units are the same they will not change with the power factor right because the units are independent of the power factor so the number of uh, VC2, let's say I name it, would be equal to VC1. Because it's the same energy units multiplied by the same time, right? Yes. So which means what? The cost of the capacitor now also has to be. So the total cost over here, now the cost of electricity 2, I would say would be the fixed cost plus the variable cost plus also the cost of the capacitors also the cost of the capacitor so have a look just put down the values over here or let me just write it down so this would be triple four triple four plus the variable cost is one two four eight zero into ten to the power three and plus the cost of the capacitors is two six five zero two six five zero so have a look what do you have is the total cost of electricity would come out to be what where is it? One two nine two seven one two nine two seven zero nine four zero nine four rupees. So this is your cost of electricity too. So have a look which one is cheaper? Which one is cheaper? Have a look. So the second is cheaper. Of course, we've also added capacitors and we have, uh, you know, still we are having a lower cost and we have improved the power factor. How much money are you saving? So you can have cost of electricity one minus two. This is two, right? So if one minus two, if you have a positive value, so which means you are saving something. One minus two, you have a negative value, you are losing. And, and this is, you know, have a look, this is smaller value. So which means you have saved a significant amount of money. One lakh 15,406 rupees, you have saved. I have written it over here. Okay. Let's say we talk about an example number two. An example number two over here. This was example number one. Example number two. What does this states? Okay. In example one, calculate the annual savings, savings if any, if losses of 50 watts per kVA are losses of 50 watts per kvar you also have to include this in the system with the capacitors with the capacitors are considered all the other data remain the same all the other data remains the same so now what do you have is you have to do the calculations again the same power demand the same power factor has to be improved and this and that so over here what does change what will change first is the QC so QC formula I told you is if you have two different powers so this would be P1 tangent of phi 1 minus P2 tangent of phi 2 isn't it like this it is and then what do you have over here here have a look here P2 is what here P2 is basically P1 plus 
the losses that are involved with the leading KVRs. We've also seen this sort of an example previously. So I would just write it as 0 0.05 times QC. P1 plus 0 0.05 times QC. Yes, yes. Fine. Yes, so just put it over here in the formula. So you would say that QC is equal to what? P1 is what? It is 1000 times tangent of phi1 is what? 36.8 uh, degrees. Then you have what? Minus, uh, minus uh, 1000 times tangent of phi2 is what? 25. 0.8 degrees and then minus again 0 0.05 times QC and tangent of 25.8 degrees again. So have a look you have only got one variable and from here you can just write the value of QC. You can find it out for yourself. I will just write it down directly take the tangent of the angles and you have what QC is 258.5 kvars. 258.5 kvars right yes now the cost of the capacitors would be what the cost would be would be 258.5 multiplied by 100 right isn't it like this uh, wait why have they not included it over here why have they not included it over here? Cost of the capacitor is included which is 2650. Why have they, uh, you know, written over here again 2650? So this should not be the case. 2650 should not be the case over here. They have included the same cost as previously. Which is wrong. That should not be the case. This should not be the case. The cost should depend on this 285.5 kVR. But what have they done is that they have taken the same 2650 kVR. I don't think this should be it. I don't think this should be it. Go for that calculations, okay? Because now the kVRs are different. So cost is 100 per kVR and also depreciated at 0 0.1, right? So this comes out to be 258. 2585, 2585 rupees per year. Approximately the same, maybe they have gone for the approximation, but the proper cost is that thing. Now, again, you know what? So before power factor correction, the thing is the same, before power factor correction, right? But then after power factor correction, so we'll just directly go over here is for after power factor correction, right? Yes. So you would have what? S2 is the same. This fixed cost would be the same. The variable cost would also be the same. But what do you have to do is you have to include the energy losses as well. You also have to include the power loss. You also have to include the... Uh, so let's say, let's say I just include this with the fixed cost. The cost can be included with the fixed cost as well, right? Or we'll just write it in the end, doesn't matter. But over here, the thing is that you have got power losses. So I would just write over here, first of all, let's just let this go. I would say the power loss with the capacitors, with the capacitors would be what? The power loss with the capacitors would be 0 0.05 times QC, which is 285.5. And this comes out to be how much? 12.925. 12.925 kilowatts. Right? Yes. Similarly, then you would have energy loss with the capacitors also. So energy lost with the capacitors would be what? This would be the power that is lost, 12.925 multiplied by what? Multiplied by the, the hours for which it is connected. So this is 2080, 2080, right? So this directly. Now they have again included 0.6. So that 0.6, I believe they have included for the load factor. You do not need to include it over here. I believe we have a problem with this example. I don't think we do. We need to, to, to include this uh, 0.6 with this. Okay. So don't include it. Just directly write what? Directly, uh, directly write it with the same. Uh, 
the energy loss is hours multiplied by the power that it is consuming multiplied by the rating right yes so uh, this is good so what do you have is i will just write these values fictitiously over here is 16130 kilowatts 16130 kilowatt hours now you also have to include this in the variable cost right okay so first part of tariff the second part of tariff is one two four eight uh one two four eight it is into the power three multiply ten the cost of energy due to okay so wait so the fixed cost if you see now the fixed cost would be the same thing the fixed cost would be again what the maximum demand which is which is what it is a uh, triple one uh, double one double one multiplied by uh, 400 so this would be triple four triple four is the same fixed cost now the variable cost would be the same uh, which is this one uh, oh, uh, which is same for both the cases is 13042 one three zero four two five double zero right yes now these are the previous fixed costs and the variable costs now you need to include over here is what the cost of the energy loss due to the capacitors so the cost of the energy loss you also have to include with the variable cost so which means what the energy units that are lost over here is one six one three zero multiplied with rupees 10 now this is the energy loss the cost of the energy loss that is associated with the capacitor so you also include it with the variable cost so this comes out to be one two six one two six four one three zero four three zero four three zero four okay right yes now the total cost of electricity would be what the total cost of electricity would be the fixed cost which is triple four triple four plus the variable cost which is the number of units cost multiplied by the energy lost cost through the capacitors so that is one two six four one three zero four and plus plus the cost of the capacitors also the cost of the capacitors is what two five eight five rupees so the total cost of electricity comes out to be is what one three zero double eight one three zero double eight uh three nine eight rupees three nine eight rupees so this is per year so have a look one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight so this is you know a little bit greater this is a little bit greater this amount is greater than the annual charges without improving the power factor yes this is greater so have a look what can you do is no saving are resultant and of course you've got losses however you have got a technical benefit the loss amount if the loss amount is smaller as in this case you could see the loss amount is not sufficiently higher so what can you do is you can just neglect this because the technical benefit of improving the power factor is quite greater as compared to this smaller loss right yes now i believe what that i have taken a little time in this video so only this example i will finish this video over here i will uh, continue with the next example in the next video so till then take care goodbye